Well, here's more wasted money. It seems like uh, the American legacy is on a bonus trip to revise the things that were so obvious years ago, and yet they still make money off of it. I guess it's a good idea. One is uh, the idea of making money off of how the smoking in youth related movies increases. This is the latest email I have from uh, the um, American Legacy uh, followers, and uh, I guess I'm one. I get the mail, but um, what they talk about, just in case you haven't really ever had any experience in this in the last 25 years, the um, the concept of or advertising in movies is a well-known uh, a well-known thing which occurred after the 1971 uh, uh, concession to take things off of TV that were related to uh, tobacco and they did uh, with the exception of some small cigars which um, some companies cheated on getting did anyway but there and again, you're you're looking at what happened in the 70s was um, it continues. And, and in the 80s, there is a revised concept of what is called product placement. For example, if you don't know these things, um, one of the obvious ones is the exposure and perfectly legal, no problem. Um, is the exposure to a prop, such as you would find in a uh, close-up. Um, one would be like you hold a symbol, such as this. Now, this would, if you found it in a, uh, a movie or on a desk or something, this would not necessarily be a product placement. It could be, but if you are a little more subtle, less subtle is here, you're identifying Coca-Cola, but we know what the colors are so um, of Coca-Cola as uh, opposed to Pepsi. So uh, the point is that you're going to have uh, a concept which grabs kids more, and this is the whole concept. Okay. I'm drinking a Coke, so I'm, if I were in the movies, which I'm not, but I'm, I'm in front of you. So if you're watching this, I am endorsing. But if I hold it this way so that you can see the Coke, and, you know, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. There's a very, very subtle and a not so subtle. Hmm. There. Now, the other day on, um, on uh, Comedy Central... You saw um, Pepsi being advertised, and obviously, it's when they say it's advertised, uh, you're you're watching a star endorse Pepsi, and that increases the sale of Pepsi. What what the legacy is picking up on is something that happened years ago, and was well well received as a complaint to the industry. But they're still hammering the same things, and I admit I I was very um, I was very interested in this, and and yet the the idea of change is is slow in coming. But more or less, I would say that basically you're not going to see Josh Brolin usually doing something. Your A-list actors or your A-list actresses are not going to do something. Uh, that's going to be um, taken unless it's in the context of, of a character. They don't have to unless they want to. Now, when we have this retroactive concentration by legacy, American legacy, smoking and youth related to movies, youth related movies. In, in 1911, where does this come from? This report comes from CDC, uh, Center for Disease Control. Uh, God knows that they're doing hard things. But the, the, the idea is to pay somebody to do the same kind of work that was done back in the 90s. And uh, well before that as well. And 
And what is it going to do? Now, I'll agree, I'll agree with one thing. It, that is true. And I used to sit my kids down and say, can you identify? If you can, I'll pay you um, X number of uh, 75 cents or 50 cents for one, 75 for the other one. I know it's not fair, but one was smaller. And how many things can you identify in a Disney movie? Well, of all things, you wouldn't think that they would be identifying, uh, but they had a whole list, and their eyes are very, very keen. And so uh, some of the things, even even the uh, mobile home that appears in, in one movie, uh, they got it. You know, they got it. So um, the, 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 the small ideas are captured. Now, there is a policy. It was, it was called the um, Council for Advertising Control. And, and I have a lot of information that you don't have. And a lot of the information is, is, uh, is basically on paper. And I, I can go over this. But in, in the 50s and the 60s and up to the 70s, 71, we were <clears throat> in the generations that grew up during that time and before uh, was subjected to um, bombardments of, of television advertisement, which is just different. In what way is it different? Because it is uh, television is essentially um, controlled by the FCC. Now, movies don't have any comparable control other than if you're going to call, you know, the, the ratings the control. So again, uh, when you see something and you're trying to figure it out and you're, you know, it's like this, you're drinking it like this and you are a star. Or if you're just finding it on a table, it's, it's called placement or replacement. So to identify this, this is so old. But I'll agree. Guess. Uh, the, the, the concept of, of capturing new smokers through this means is is a subtle way of capturing a, a, a group of um, uh, smokers, uh, uh, non-smokers, into and converting them into non-smokers. It's also a you know it 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 it's where this money is going. First of all. I, I did finish the, the book, Bad Acts, and I've got to say one thing about that. First, uh, the lady who wrote this book is a prosecutor, so because she's a prosecutor, she's aware of some of the bad acts, and, and uh, this was a 10-year-old uh, tax paid for. God knows how many other people got money out of it. I mean, this thing is a lot about money. Everything that has to do with anti-tobacco or controlling tobacco has to do with individuals making money. And the one part of it that struck me about her her book was the fact that she had a hard time getting a job after she left uh, her prosecutorial role in, in doing the RICO uh, case. Now, why did she have a hard time? Well, she explains, well, because she had prosecuted tobacco, and tobacco was aligned with the states, and tobacco, this is my complaint. Why, why, why is this, why are we doing, you know, like uh, driving Miss Daisy, if, you know, it's the same thing. You're doing the same stuff. You're reporting the same stuff. You're writing the same stuff, and you're getting paid for it. Anything that comes from the CDC, if you get it, and it's it's regurgitated, it's it's the concepts. You're not activists. You're just you're just docile, and and so anything that comes from American legacy has to be filtered through. Just how important is this today? It's not, by and large, unless you see it in a Disney uh, a Disney piece, uh, which. As you re may re uh, revise it sometime or other, um, there's a uh, a movie that uh, I was I I knew there were some subtle points in it which probably you didn't get, but um, well, Parenthood was one, but uh, <clears throat> you had some obvious endorsements. Um, 
the uh, they were directed. I mean, these were kids, type type movies, and some of those that were very subtly um, brought into films were indeed worthy of note. Particularly if you compare one film, which was a, an old film, and a, a new film, and you look at it and you say, okay. But <clears throat> when, you, when you say that the MSA, the Master Settlement Agreement, is going to give money to the lawyers, it's going to give money to the health groups, it's going to give money to um, the prosecutors, uh, that is the Attorney General's, uh, Attorney General, uh, then when you find something that's a, another another point in the start of, of this realm where people are making money and you realize that this lady who wrote bad or acts uh, regardless of how good or bad it is um, and I know I'm mixing two thoughts here but um, why did she have a hard time in one area is really intriguing to me but it sure does smell of the same thing and that is she applied to the attorneys general association which has all the money and you know has a lot of um, handling of the uh, uh the concepts of uh, how we're going to deal with money how we're going to prosecute who we're going to prosecute why we're going to prosecute and all that well, she applied for this job, and in this little passing remark, which is having a hard time to get a job, she states, and, and I certainly understand that, so bless you, and uh, I know where you come from, you come from Mississippi, and well, I don't come from there, but I do realize that uh, I spent quite a bit of time, so I understand what your, your thoughts are, and you know, the, the idea is, why did you not get the job at the Master Settlement Agreement Headquarters, that is the Attorneys General. Well, your statement is very clear. You say that the Attorneys General uh, offered you, so to speak, the job and said, you're just really qualified. Of course she is, you know. Uh, you're dealing with a lot of things that Everybody seems to be uh, not very interested in now, but everybody, you know, will put you in this chair. Then they talk to Tobacco, apparently, and that is her perception. And I think that's probably true. And Tobacco said, don't you dare. Well, are we talking about tobacco control or controlling tobacco? Because that really does have a lot of sense and basically is what, what she's saying. She didn't get the job there, which is basically, you know, uh, the greatest qualification because she prosecuted the tobacco companies in the RICO case. Okay, now, this kind of thing is moving me toward just a pure, <coughs> awful, uh, and, and, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, a, a, a process of thinking how this comes full circle in in the compromises that people like Stanton Glantz and the American Legacy and 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 the Attorneys General did and if they'd gotten away with the first settlement of Mike Moore you wouldn't have anything I mean you wouldn't have anything in terms of of a um, ability to sue tobacco in terms of the state courts which really doesn't do a lot of good now because Verdicts are, are, you know, to get a verdict, you'd, you'd have to overcome some of the Republican installed um, stops. And, of course, that's one issue. But, again, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to, you know, the, the, the concept of what we're talking about in terms of, of um, that book, it's okay if you're going to read something like that. And uh, one of the things that is so apparent is, here, is found again in the American Legacy, repeating the same thing that's been done over and over and over. Now, the thing is, money goes into this. Why? Tobacco money goes into it and it controls the concept of what they're doing. The CDC report reports that smoking in youth-rated movies is up. Wow. And, you know, <laughs> when it was not up, when, well, that wasn't before 1974, but when I do a piece on, 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 on the sponsorship 
of these programs, which nobody really knows that because I have the Nielsen ratings of programs in the 60s, Star Trek, and, you know, um, Daniel Boone, that sort of thing, which aren't out there. And they're not in documents. So I will give you some idea of what they were doing, and it changed generations. But this is picking, uh, picking at the same thing over and over and getting the same result. You're going to get the same result. You know, and I agree, there is, uh, there is a high probability of exposing when you do expose, but basic to everything and fundamental to the truth here is when you use product endorsement or, or placement such as, you can notice this. And I suppose the, the, the most emphatic use of this was in a piece uh, that uh, Tom Hanks did years ago called, um, Dragnet, and um, they do a close-up of Lucky Strikes, and you can imagine how much money it talking costs uh, to to actually you know, film this, and how much money was paid in in, in return. That's it. not a lot of this going on, but as I say in the in the in the piece before, you know you can't pick on a Jeff Daniels or or uh, you can't pick on just a a, a character type. Uh, which has chosen uh, what a character does and how they do it. Th these are things that, that actors choose. And I'm going to tell you that if you're going to repeat yourself over and over and get money for it, and you study public opinion on a menthol ban, you know, th this is ridiculous. Uh, here's another one. Uh, online ads can help... Uh, Latinos quit smoking using web-based resources. Oh, come on. The first word you're wrong on is people who are Latinos don't like to be called Latinos. So where are you in your political realm? I know in terms of, of if you want to call a Brazilian a Latino, you better not because they're offended. And here you are in your, in your graceful uh, posturing here. And, uh, okay, again, you know, the, the, the idea of giving awards to, to uh, youth uh, sounds like something I got in, in the Baptist church when I was a child in West Texas. Oh, they, they didn't like me, but they gave me uh, some kind of award. And uh, maybe it was for the Lord's Prayer or something because I memorized it, and, you know. Uh, I guess it works. I don't know. Uh, but Legacy is now giving out awards, or was. Look, 12 years of this, 13 years of this, and give us a break. You know, stop it. You know, stop spending this money and being so passive. If you're going to be aggressive, yeah, I wouldn't complain. But you're, you, you, you got so many areas where you're going to, you know, all the, all the elitist. And all the people who are going to write these papers, and I know CDC gets this kind of thing. I mean, you know, Stanton Glass, you were blocked one time. You didn't get yourself into the CDC. Same thing with the NIH. You know, they're basically political organizations. And, you know, people who get in and get their money. But, you know, it's like it's already said. It's already done. And nothing you're going to change about this is going to help. You know, it, your 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 work is no longer in dedication, it's in memoriam, and it's totally buried in a graveyard. Because if you were going to do something, do it well and do it new, new stuff. Be activists. Don't don't do this silly. Uh, I'm so normal because I have to be normal because if I'm going to punish the tobacco companies, I'll get my money taken away from me, which basically is what the lady who prosecuted with another man who shall remain unknown, and it's basically because he's probably a rotten man anyway, but the prosecution was massive and the expenses were massive, and then you got nothing, but... She did a book, and she couldn't get in to the things that she knew because the Master Settlement Agreement Attorneys General, according to her, and I, will, I would say that she's probably right, 
talk to tobacco tobacco said mm, rather not you know mm, I'd rather not you do that because we need somebody who's going to pacify us it's nothing but for sale again coca-cola yeah. okay you're going to do product placement you know it, it i'll tell you something about it it's basically this is coca-cola i'm drinking it I, if i'm a star or not you know if you see it but not everything can be product placement. Not everything can be star endorsement. I mean, if if if, if Javier Bardeen suddenly comes out of the room with a, uh, a, a some kind of don, gun and he's smoking, I'm not going to complain about Javier because Javier is damn good, and and so is his director, and you just. You just have to know where these things are and leave them alone. They just really aren't doing that much of damage anyway. You know what? I think you're just you're just comfortable cats and you're 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 bloated. And I would rather see money spent in another way. And you have all this money. You, it, the master settlement gave it to the wrong people and the wrong, wrong ideas. And you're not fighting anything. You're giving in. Basically, you'd have no thoughts. So you go back and pull out the same thoughts. And Sam Glass, you're the leader of the band here. And you probably know that. It's nice to be fat. It's nice to be rich. It's nice to be a fat cat and everybody appreciates you. How about trying the other side for a change? Which I was on. I don't mind it. Either way, it doesn't matter. But... I'm not pulling for that. I don't, I, it would be disgusting for me to have to deal uh, in a placating way with tobacco. And that's exactly what you're doing. Or either, you know, I would say, okay, uh, I'll go join them. Because that's basically what you're doing. You're joining them because you're pacifying them. You're not going to harm them, not the states. Not the states, because if you harm them, they'll cut you off, or they'll they'll ask for a reduction in the money. And the same goes for uh, the way you raise money here. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, don't do that, because I'm. I sometimes I get on a roll here, and I I think I'm I'm right. Here's another one from um, the uh, the annals of. Those people who are in charge of controlling air health. Youth professionals gather in New York to support legacy. Oh, how about that? Of course they do. What what did what kind of state dinner did you get? <laughs> you know, it's appalling. It it really is. I wish that I never had anything that I did that made this possible, but unfortunately I did. And I have to live with it. And you guys are not going to change. So um, maybe uh, maybe you'll get my point and it won't do a damn good or good. But <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm having a great time. Anyway, the, the idea of smoking in youth rated movies increases in 2011. Well, what's going to happen in 2013, maybe? Same thing? What's the difference? I mean, you're, you're, you're tailing behind an issue that's 20 years old and it's already been done. And of course, it's not going to immediately change. So uh, there's been transition, but it's kind of over, over, over. And so you're writing the same things and you're paying different people again. Mm, that's just too bad. Anyway, thank you, Cheryl. Um, it's again a fortunate experience to read your your work and uh, as an activist, yeah, as an activist doing good for the uh, with the representation of CDC, which you know I have my doubts about CDC in terms of their representation because mm, there's a lot of past performance in the CDC, the NIH, which had a lot to do with tobacco, and it's always joining together. It's like a state institution. Once you think of Thailand or some group or, com or, 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 or country that's actually banned tobacco, you know, as a matter of fact, you're way behind other countries. 
here in the United States. And I mentioned, okay, Australia came up with none of this stuff. But on the packing, on the pack art, you can't do that. You know why? Because you're going to upset the very people who are paying you. You know, he who holds the perks, or she, controls the whole concept. And you're holding the purse. Tobacco. And so, why wouldn't they do this kind of thing, which is pacifying you? The reason is, and the reason they're repeating the things that have already been done, and they're very, very old, and they're very, very useless right now, is because they can. They hold the purse. And believe me, whoever wrote the deal knew what they were doing. Dickie and all of you boys out there in Riceland, Mr. Rice, Mr. Motley, and all the people who did all this good acts, these good acts, and to the lady who wrote the bad acts, I, I really am sorry that that the Master Settlement Agreement <clears throat> and the people who contain that and hold it and, and divvy out the money and didn't want you to work for them because you did something <laughs> to harm tobacco and tobacco said, no, you can't hire this woman, you can't hire this lawyer and um, it's not because she's from Mississippi that's uh, because she's uh, she made us mad. Now I have to admit, sounds a little. I mean, she's right. She's totally right. I agree with you. That's what happened. Because if the theory is you who hold the press strings are in charge, and if you a new states, and it's a triangular thing. It has the attorneys general, it has the health groups, and then it has the states. So they're all making their money if they fall beneath a certain target. Um, I think we ought to stick this in a cornerstone somewhere. And, you know, the, all the agreements and all the arbitration agreements from the attorney general and, and stick it in a cornerstone, resurrect it in 300 years. And maybe, maybe somehow that cornerstone will show that... Uh, Everybody was feeding off the same trough, and that is um, tobacco was in control. The money came from tobacco. And Cheryl out in Legacy Land, and Stanton and Glantz out in Legacy Land, and all the little worker bees, you're doing the same thing. I know you're not old enough probably to understand this, but it is. It's been done. And it, it's, there's no staging of this. I mean, it doesn't go one, two, three higher. It just goes back to the same thing. It's been identified. And to that end, uh, you've, you, you have not gotten any more sophisticated than, than uh, when they did uh, Honey, I, I Shrank the Kids, where they did symbolic uh, uses of, of uh, the uh, product endorsement. I could tell you about that, but you probably know by now, don't you? But I am going to tell you about some of the things that were put into the picture uh, before 1971. It's interesting that the FCC has control over TV, and you very seldom see anything in TV. And uh, so, um, item by item, you know, I really have to go with um, the idea that tobacco has control and you're just kind of a, you're kind of a, this is all puffery. And it's nothing but puffery. It's, it's, sophist it's, 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 a, it's a sophistry and it, uh, I'd say it's a, a totally sophisticated way of appealing to the wrong people at the wrong time, using the wrong tools. American Legacy is an elitist organization. It has nothing to do with changing the picture which you want to change because most of the people who are doing this kind of work have gone. They've disappeared. They're no longer here. And believe me, you'll never get what Australia got. A pack art which, which does say something 
it may work. You know, it may have some changing. But movie payola, that kind of thing, and again, to see it today in my email, you know, it's so passe. It's gone, and I'm gone too. Thanks a lot.